I should probably wash them at some point. Right, where are we this morning? We are in Largs. I've never been here before. And on this sign, that's where we are going. Great Cumbria Island. Thank you to all the people who said I need to go to Millport. I didn't even realise that Millport was on an island. That shows how little I know. Right, this is very excited. We've had a delivery from one of our patrons. Derek, Derek, thank you very much. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Yay! It's a cap for me. Just one. I'm kidding. There's two. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you, Derek, so much. Thank you. We are wearing these today. Get rid of these ones. Where is the logo from? Hey, uh, that's where we're going today, Cumbri Island. <laughs> oh my god, my hair. How cool. Because it's windy. So I think that's Great Cumbria Island just behind us. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. We'll try and take the van over, maybe stay there tonight and come back to the mainland tomorrow. I think the ferry to get there only takes about 15 minutes. So let's head down to Largs. It will be interesting to explore. Let's go. There seems to be so much on this coastline and we've never really explored it so we'll definitely need to come back here and spend more time. Oh there's the ferry, oh, we've just missed one. I hope it comes back soon. We've arrived just in time to see the ferry leaving, we've just missed it. But it's quite a small crossing, so hopefully it'll be back over pretty soon. I'm not sure if you buy the ticket in the office or if you get it on board. Some quite interesting architecture here in Largs, and that's Nardini's, that's a famous name in these parts. There's a wee Viking ship here. Now, when we were coming into Largs, it did say Viking Town. I'm not quite sure of the connection. Someone is eating. I'm not eating. Right, so it was a total of £20.50 and pence for the two of us return, including the van. And that's quite reasonable, because we're going to stay in the van tonight, so it's a bargain. Should we buy some supplies? We should get some supplies, that's a very good idea. Mm. We've got time, haven't we? Ferry's still miles away. Oh, there she is, just in time. Quick, come in! You made it just in time. <laughs> the bells. What? Please listen very carefully to the following passenger safety announcement. In the event of an emergency arising, the general emergency signal will be sounded. <laughs> Despite us being so stressed about catching the boat, turns out that Cumbria Island is known as the most accessible island in Scotland, and this wee ship darts back and forth across the Firth of Clyde all day long, and by the looks of this Saturday afternoon, in any weather. Oh, 
would like to do more video on outside but it's absolutely wild it was nice to take refuge away from that wind but just don't be expecting anything other than shelter in here there's no cafe or anything like that but to be honest with you that's not really a surprise on such a short crossing it only takes about 10 minutes it's getting quite breezy there's lots of white horses in the sea i just hope the ferry keeps running we've got to get back tomorrow It wasn't long before that ramp was dropping down again to dump us at the north end of the island. Now I'm not sure of the history of this route and why you don't sail into Millport, because it's Cumbria's only town, but I suppose there must be a good reason for it. And while he drove away, I was just left behind to leave the ship as a foot passenger. Thanks, Steve. When you look at the map, it looks tropical. It certainly doesn't feel tropical. <laughs> I'm gonna be checking out the island from the car, I guess. I think so. <laughs> So we've arrived here at Ferry Slip and I guess we can just go anti-clockwise round the island. There's a tea room! A tea room! Yeah. Let's go to the tea room. It'll be closed. Oh, this is funny. What a day to come to Cumbria Island. The wind is absolutely howling. I think we'll be doing a tour just by the van and no more. Sounds good. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. That should be the name of our channel, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Poor wee seagulls. This one is massive, the first one is huge. Right, as I say, it's quite a small island, so what we'll do is a wee circumnavigation first, get our bearings, and we'll see if there's anything to see. Oh, here's our first statue memorial. HMS Shearwater, 1844. Memorial to two young seamen. Look at this folks, the sensory trail. Touch all five posts and take with you a gift of luck from the islanders. How cool is that? Whatever the weather throws at us, we've got the van and we've got pot noodles. That's all we need. They've got no idea we're behind them, do they? I don't think so. I think it's too windy. Yeah. We're here at Fintry Bay. It might not be a day for sunbathing, but on the other side, we can see a face in the rocks. Another one to touch. Oh. What's this? For your tomorrow, we keep our we gave our today. Some rather grand houses marked the entrance to Millport, a town much bigger than I was expecting. I suppose it's such an accessible island, this will be a popular place to live, as well as having a big tourist population in the summer. It reminds me a lot of Rothsey and Brodick on the neighbouring isles. Fish and chip. What, just one chip? Oh no, fish and chip. Right, we will park somewhere here. Right folks, welcome to Millport. We're going to head out for a walk. There might be some very windy footage about to come. Sorry. I think it's always quite windy here. Yeah. Like you're on an island. It's so exposed. There's no other way.
to be the windiest town in Scotland. Hey, look at this old church. Religion is alive and well in Millport. Let's go and have a look at the Crocodile Rock. This was the brainchild of local man Robert Brown more than a hundred years ago and it still gets a fresh coat of paint to this day. I can see some similarities. There she goes folks, she's in the zone for looking for sea pottery. Focused! Look at this place, it's very grand. In fact, Millport in general is much bigger than I expected for such a small island. It's impossible to record videos here though. Hi. Look folks, Millport Entertainment. Ah, I wish we had some golf clubs. Because there's balls here. Look. That would have been a perfect Saturday afternoon. What are you stealing? Look, Millport's got everything. It's got a distillery. Oh, and a sweet shop. We like a sweet shop. And they've got a toy shop with Wilson. What more could you possibly want? The old real estate market looks quite successful here. Sold, 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 sold. <laughs> <laughs> the exposed island weather was giving us a hard time, so we headed to the small streets trying to get away from that wind, but there was nowhere to hide. Out at the far end of town we spotted Millport's helipad. Now this is for emergency evacuations from the island, but I think even these guys would struggle landing today. Can you hear the wind whistling through the masts? Off in the distance there is Little Cumbry, better known in these parts as Wee Cumbry. Now I'm desperate to know how to get there. I see there's a castle and a lighthouse on the island, but it might just be a protected bird reserve these days. Oh, it's good fun today folks, but this wind is absolutely exhausting. It's giving me a headache. Quite a posh town, Millport. You've got the centre and then on either side you've just got these incredible houses. Oh no, your hat! I know! Okay, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's getting windier. That weather is just crazy though, isn't it? Exhausting. Absolutely. It's so nice and warm in here. Yeah. Does he warm? What are you going to have? Sip. Smashnago. Smashnago. This is such a proper old cafe, I absolutely love it. How do you eat this? With no spoon? Like a sandwich? Yeah. I want to see it. Oh, that was amazing. See, when you come outside again, it is such a shock to the system. This place is actually so cool. Imagine the officers would have been in there and the soldiers would have been like, I can't do this anymore. Cut. Oh, 
I've just got a face full of sand. Oh boy. What have you found? A treasure. I'm not surprised that they built little houses around the benches. They want to just sleep in here? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's the craziest weather I've seen for a while. I'm actually surprised the van's still here. How do you feel? Lion rock? It looks That's like amazing. a lion. It does look like a lion. That must be it. Eh? Uh huh. I love it. Right, we've got to talk about this. That is one of the most remarkable rock formations I've ever seen. Seriously, if you squint your eyes from here, that is a lion. Like, there's no doubt about it. It's incredible. Simba. That's a 10 out of 10, right there. You found Mufasa. We've got to go a wee bit further up the road here, because when you see it from the other angle, it's even better. Stand about here. What I'll do is I'll get the phone out, then I can zoom in a bit further. Oh man, it's so cool. I tell you what, I'm fair taken with that thing. Look at that, the wee ferry's still running. That is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. Guys, we're on the rums tonight. Let's just hope we can find the van again, eh? I swear my rums tonight. Follow the lights. How are you? I'm uh, amazing. Fantastic. How many hours did you sleep last night? Two, three. Hard to say. I'll keep the camera far away from my face. Look at the crocodile in the water. Let's go and see him. Morning, crocodile! It's very nice in the sun, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful, but it's still cold. Just a bit. I'm absolutely fascinated by Wee Cumbry. We've got to get there someday. Don't look, don't look inside. <laughs> She's doing her contact lenses, look. We're going inland. We're trying to find the highest point on the island. And we believe there's a wee viewpoint there, but we can't see it on the map. We'll soon find out. Beautiful morning. I 
I think we go left. Oh, viewpoint, one mile. Perfect. <laughs> I just don't like driving on these roads. I'm always thinking, imagine there's a tractor coming the other way or something. What do you do? There's no passing places. What a beautiful morning. It's really calm here. Why? Why is it calm here? How is it possible? Lion Rock. Girvan. Ailsa Craig. Can we see Ailsa Craig? No. Oh, it's beautiful up here and it's nice blue sky but it's also quite a hazy day so anything that's a wee bit onto the horizon you can't really see it horizon so there we are the highest point on Cumbria Island now let's go and get some breakfast With all that blue sky and sun, Millport was looking much more like its summer best. But to be fair, it was still February, so we'll let it off for giving us such a wild welcome. Look at that folks, a chopper. Who had one of these? Let me know in the comments. Do you have? Yes. <laughs> Back into the Ritz. I'll look better with a coffee in my hand. Oh yes. Right, she's got her coffee. Happy? Yeah. We've found a local celebrity. Two seconds. Oh, Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. It's nice and the sun, yay. Lazy Sunday. Bye, Pablo. See you soon. See you soon, buddy. Bye. Bye, Pablo. Bye, Pablo. That's us back in line for the ferry. We've just seen it dock in Largs. So we'll be back across in about 10 minutes and that'll be us back to the mainland. So there we go folks, that was another fun little island adventure. But be sure to stick around till the end to have a wee look at Largs before we head back to the east coast. There we go, that's such a quick ferry journey. That's us back in the mainland and Largs is beautiful, especially in a day like today. Okay, we're not in the islands anymore, but still. Hi there, can I have uh, two donuts, please? Yeah. 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 Do not put the seagulls. Just please. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, when you smell donuts, you just can't not buy them. What does it say? Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. We steal the scene. 
Balmoral Road. <laughs> He's quite cool, isn't he? Yeah. We don't care about this guy because across the road, Nardini's restaurant, world famous ice cream. Right, I've got my Nardini's ice cream. We were going to sit in, but it's absolutely jammed in there. There's a massive queue. Yay! Nice! That's good. £2.50. <laughs> Look at this, you can see there's been stormy weather. We've got to try and find out where this Viking connection is with Largs without paying to get into a visitor experience. Let's see how we get on. Right folks, we've found some kind of Viking longboat and there was a battle of Largs in 1263. We're getting there, we're learning, we're learning. Is that the one with the flat bottom? I don't know. Because they invented the flat bottom boats to go inside the land on the rivers. Is that right? Yeah. Where do you get all your knowledge? School. We were looking for a wee museum, folks, and we have found one, but it's closed. What does it say? Open again in May 22. It's had a refurbishment, so we'll need to come back. Looks all right, actually. So yeah, officially, all you can do in Largs on a Sunday is eat ice cream and fish and chips and drink beer. So it's time for us to go home, folks. Thanks for joining us on this windy weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye. Changing fire